and ready for audio and we are going live with audio in, in three two one welcome to another episode of business, business yeah number two for today Number two Number for the day. Number two for the day. If you're listening to this on replay, it's because you're not part of the Facebook Live. So we want to make sure you do jump on the Facebook page so you know when we're going live, usually around 4 and 5 o'clock on a regular basis. So, uh, you know, jump on those and we'll, we'll catch up with you live. You can ask us questions. You can ask our guest questions. James will monitor the Facebook feed here. So jump on the live. If not, we do appreciate you on, uh, on the replay anyways. Yeah. So you can find us on subscribe, iTunes. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Yeah, help us out. Just Google business bros, but with only one O, business bros, and you'll see our <laughs> mugs on there, either the digital, uh, the logo that we made, or our actual mugs, one making of those. funny faces, and then hit the subscribe button, but we appreciate you nonetheless. All right. Uh, before we get into the shout outs, remember, we do have 365 sh pairs of shoes that we want to give away by the end of this year. We are making some headway uh, somewhere in the 340 range at this point. So uh, thank you, everybody who has donated. Big, big ups to everybody who has. Appreciate all of you. Uh, keep calling me keep bringing me those shoes uh or let me know where i can go pick them up i will ride out there rum, 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 rum. you'll hear me coming from a mile away and be happy to pick up some shoes from you awesome all right let's go into our shout outs for the day before we get into jose here hold on a second hold on relax pump your brakes i'm just can, playing <laughs> can, I, can i see that business bros one right? time yeah business, business bros, bros. <laughs> <laughs> all right New Facebook friends. We got Roger Blunt. We got Art Khalil, Mr. Itex. Remember Itex? Remember Art from uh, way back when? The networking groups we did with the with the uh, game truck. Were you in around those? No, no, it was no, Corey. No, no. no Corey yeah. was with me. Art I was Khalil. still in the Navy. That's right. You were in the Navy. Uh, we got uh, um, Janae. We got uh, Janae uh, Cajudo. We got Jeanette Ramirez, who's Jose's wife. Yeah, so, Jeanette Ramirez. Mm -hmm. I, I saved hers for the day that he was going to be here. So shout out to her. Uh, Curtis Snell and Anna uh, Cicari what was that one? How do we say it? Ciarino. 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 I'm sorry with the last names. I, I get kind of tough. And then Instagram, new followers, ladies and gentlemen. Kendall Gross, Taylor, uh, Jared Hart, Mike Farrell, Alex Lazareshi, and Trish uh, McMillan and Gus Alivizatos appreciate every single one of you thank, thank you very you, much for you. following us it really helps expand our audience it really helps get our message out there thank you for sharing it uh again we couldn't be anywhere without you guys so we really appreciate you thank you thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of our hearts and uh let's get on with today's program you guys ready to rock and roll yes. here we go let's we got this. all right pro painter, painter handyman himself so mr jose ramirez with ramirez handyman services. services thank you for coming on the show my friend thank you thank you yeah dude well first of all um it is the way you uh, the way i got to know you is unique and kind of actually the way i got our message out there which is kind of cool um you're posting your stuff all over facebook that's what i hear <laughs> that's what you that's what you do so tell me how'd you get into this stuff established 2003 tell me a little bit about your story um i've been in a construction business i've been in a construction construction business for a while already um my kids been growing and i've just been working really hard uh, trying to entrepreneur myself year through year and things happen but the more things that don't go well i try to step up and continue uh, with that mentality to work hard and to get somewhere, you know, it's it's never too late. You just got to keep your mindset to what you want to do. No, oh, hundred yes. percent. What what type of stuff have you been going through that like kind of stopped you? My sister's passing. Um, a lot of stuff. Uh, I worked in different places, and people work differently. And I guess my my skill and my talent has pushed me to just try to move on on my own. Yeah. And, but then I like get stuck somewhere. But now it's this year. It's more aggressiveness. Like I say, when things are tougher is when I motivate myself more. I just keep walking and keep going and finding ideas. And media has helped so much. Within 10 years, I can say I was in the cell phone business a long time ago. Uh, with my high school days and the way cell phones, Internet, everything's been working now. Internet has helped a lot. And it's getting me to a lot of 
good places now on my own working hard every day mm-hmm. so uh i mean sorry to hear about your sister okay but um you are kind of a big presence when it comes to social media what what, what gave you the idea that you know I, I should be out there putting my message out there putting my information out there how did you start doing that and when did you realize uh it was even working People's 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 answers when I do the work and and you know when it comes to painting or doing a repair, uh, I guess uh, people's comments, people's uh, you know people have different opinions and but I've heard some good positive things and they bring it to me and I build a good relationship with them. That's the key I think. When you do a job for somebody, it's not a come and go. It's you want to build a relationship more and it, you know talking to them and. Everybody got their history and their the way they live, and they want something done, repaired. They want to change, so I go out there and take care of the, you know, make, make the change. Make the change, correct. And, and, and well, I want to I want to stick on this Facebook thing because um, one of the things that I've I've always put out there is that uh, if you want to grow your audience, if you want to engage with the people out there, you have to actually post and make comments and talk about what, what's going on in their lives, post on their stuff. And that's one of the things that, that helped us expand the podcast really well is I would go out and, um, and I would comment on realtors Mm -hmm. stuff, right? I would become their friends and then, uh, I will, I would friend request them. And then once I got their friend request, then I would actually pay attention to what's going on in their lives. And yes. I comment on their stuff and I say, hi, what's up? How's it going? Great shirt. All these different things to gain the attention so that when uh, when I post something, maybe they would comment back because they actually took the time to interact with me after a certain point. Yeah. You did a lot of that. Yeah. Um, some might even say that you were a little aggressive in your uh, in your postings because you tend to put things <laughs> like like uh, your phone number or you know your your logo. I personally think that's actually genius. Yes. But you, I'm sure you've had some some negative, uh, peop- you know, some a little bit of negativity. But my argument is this: my argument is, you put your message out there. Facebook is a giant billboard. Yes. Right. Yes, it's correct. it's your ability to put what you want out there to people who are willing to listen, mm. and when people see your image all the time when people see your brand all the time when they think of i need help who do you think they're going to call exactly correct and it's important that you bring that up because um the people that have, have been friends on my facebook some people want to add me and they, they like like my stuff some people i know and then the word of mouth but the uh, internet facebook especially I, I'd be surprised. There's some realtors there that, that are, they're so friendly and nice, and they, they don't even know me, and they want to help. They want to get involved, meet part of their team, and they, they can be a part of my team. And it comes together to something positive, and I think that's what's happening right now, and it's happening so quick mm-hmm. that it's it's a good help, and it's making me a better person more and more every day. Yeah, mm-hmm. and they reach out to you, right? Correct. So how, how busy are you getting these days? Like, how, how has your life changed? At what point did you see in your business mm-hmm. you were you were starting off trying to get work? Where did you start? Before before the Facebook thing, where did you start trying to get work? How did it, how did you get into this business like and find a customer? Uh, uh, when I worked at Home Depot, when I wanted to quit, I, wanted, I won $1,000 for excellent customer service. And that's when I got taken to a restoration company in 2007, I think, is when I got laid off. But the man above shuts the door and something good happens and opens another one. And I think when the economy hit, uh, you know, just work. Work every day, have the work ethic. I don't remember taking a long vacation. I see people taking vacations. I, I work every day. Monday through Saturday, Monday through Friday, to take care of my kids and my family. But but what I do on my own, I love it. And I enjoy it and I'm getting, it's growing to something and I want to get to there. That's the goal. Mm-hmm. What kind of what kind of growth are you looking for? I mean, uh, right now I'm assuming it's just you and how many guys how many guys are in your crew? It's just me. It's just me right now. Sometimes I take a helper with me, but it's, it's me. And it's, uh, people want me. They want me to go, you know. People be surprised. They, they see my work and and they're scared if they just want a couple of rooms and they don't take me serious. No, yes, I'll do it. I'll go paint a room. I'll go change three toilets. 
Uh, you know, whatever it comes, it work is work. You know, that's the way my father raised us, and we, we just have to work and, and push, push hard every day. But it's fine. I enjoy it. I don't regret it. I think there's something big coming out of all this that I've been doing. It's a struggle to entrepreneur yourself, but you just got to keep pushing. You can't give up. That's that's the goal. All right. So let's talk. Uh, let, let's let's walk through something here. OK, so let's uh, I don't know how how open you want to be on this, but let's let's plan something together. Yeah. Yes. OK, so uh, right now you're in a, a position where what we would call you're self-employed. Yes. Right. You're doing all everything. You're handling all your books. You're handling all your invoicing. You're handling uh, customer service. You're handling uh, customer complaints. You're doing all the detail work. Maybe you have a, hand, a, a helper every once in a while. What where do you see your business towards the end? What are you trying to accomplish here? So are you going to be that same person in five years where you're doing all that? Or are you trying to achieve something else? Where are you trying to go? I think I'm going to be the same person. I'm going to be fixing people's homes and that's just the that's what I like to do you know they might I don't know what the future brings but but I, I see it something big how how describe to me this bigger mm. oh boy it's hard to say but uh, I can just say I don't know it's like a big contractor bilingual uh, build a relationship with a lot of people uh do a lot of stuff leave my leave my mark of amazing things you know through the county with people good relationship with a lot of clients i see myself sometimes going to meetings with very important people uh, because of everything that i've done but i'm still working on it mm -hmm. all right so i heard you want to be a contractor a major contractor all right you yes. want to be a contractor and you want to have great uh relationships right that's correct okay so what are you doing right now to, uh, as far as getting your way to becoming a contractor? Uh, going to school for a lot of things. Dedicate my time, even though I work hard. Take afternoons. Uh, do a lot of more research on other stuff. Meet people. Uh, if I have to take some seminars with people to, to grow. To grow. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, give me an example. What kind of courses are you taking right now? What kind of questions? Courses. Courses. Um, I'm going to go get uh, some licenses for, for my paintings, yeah. And I just got certified for my handyman's, but I'm planning to get drywall and then get my generals. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. As far as relationships, dude, let's talk about let's talk about what you've been doing uh, on your on your social media page. What's your plan for uh, for enhancing your relationships? So right now you're making a lot of acquaintances. Mm -hmm. You're meeting some people, yes. right? You're getting to know some people. How Wonderful are you? People. How do you plan on expanding your relationship with these? What types of things do you do to grow those relationships? Answer, answer, respond to to recommendations and to leads. And, and it's been wonderful. It's amazing people that refer me to wonderful people. And, and I just got to go present myself, show up. My face has to show up first and help them and start helping them what they need done. Uh, learn more every day, even though you know, you think you know something, there's other things to learn. You know, like I, my, my dad's a general contractor, uh, Prime Vista, by the way. Hi, dad. How are you? Uh, but he's a general contractor in the outdoor landscaping. And I'm, I, he, he wants me to grow with him, but I, I'm, I have a plan. I just like decor inside the home, uh, you know, colors, flooring, and you know, I just, I just want to get involved with a lot of interior design more. Mm -hmm. Well, let me let me ask you this. There's a lot of I feel like with you, there's a lot of background story. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff that's gone on in your past that has brought you to this point where you want to be independent on your own you've gone through a lot of trials a lot of tribulations mm -hmm. right you're at the beginning part of your of being an entrepreneur you're where a lot of people are struggling at mm -hmm. that don't understand what it is they're doing but they know they want to go somewhere yes. right so tell me a little bit about about what it was like for you growing up why did you where where did you come from mm, i grew up in san diego california i was born and raised in san diego california I worked everywhere. I started washing towels at a hotel. I worked at the movie theater. I was in the cell phone business. I think when I was in the cell phone business, communication was the the key. 
you know, I was a manager right away at a store, met wonderful people, sales reps, but I always wanted more. When I was in Old Depot, I always wanted more. And when I say more is because I always saw there was something more for me than, so, than what I was doing good there. So what what type of, what what type of success have you had so far? I mean, what type of what what do you mean by more? Where were you at? Oh man, well, it's all over the place. Working hard every day. It's hard to explain. I've been everywhere, and when I say I've been everywhere, I, I I've been it's 2003, and now is when I really got focused into painting. That was my first thing, and people told me I did good painting, perfect lines, and. Customers are really happy. I, I hear so many amazing things. And, um, you know, that's what got me. That's what got me into. If I had all the, if I work hard, if I have excellent customer service, I communicate good with people, uh, that I can be going out there, getting involved in what I, what I want to do. I wouldn't change if I was a postman for four days. <laughs> and I and they told me if you know if you leave you can't come back I'm, I'm not coming back I want to go forward and I was already looking passing the mail but I was already looking at termites damage I just visualize homes a lot. Mm-hmm. So, tell me, tell me, how close were you to your sister? How 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 was that transition in your life? Tell me a little bit about her, about your relationship with her. She was a, a good hardworking person. How was your relationship with her? Good, great. Yeah, what, what kind of stuff did you guys used to do? How, that way you can help me uh, understand how this was a transition in your life. Strength, hard work. What did you, what did you guys used to do together? Talk. Because I can see it's like something that's deep, deep within you. Like, I don't want to make you like, you know, <clears throat> too fun. much tear up, but I just kind of want to, you it know. Mo- it motivated me more. Did you used to have to like really take after her to you know take care of her help her you know positive person positive person yeah I mean I can tell man it's it's hurting I know I got you yeah but it keeps me going every day every day how old was she 31 31 was this recent yes last year last year hmm? tough man but I continue working every time there's something Throwing you back, you gotta keep pushing. Oh, always, mm-hmm. always, always. Did you have any kids? Three, three daughters, amazing daughters. Are you helping out with that? I'm trying to, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But um, my brother-in-law and everything, but you know, he's moving on with his life, and we were working together for a while, uh, doing a lot of home remodeling, and I was the hustler. I was the hustler. He's the he was the owner, but we worked as a team and together with him. And a special shout out to my brother-in-law. But we pushed hard for our family, and, and we were. It was beginning something, but there again, something occurred. But I kept pushing, and I just, like you say, there was nobody to, to talk to, and really go out for. It. So I did started advertising my photos. If it was a photo from. Some of the amazing work, and I still the people get wowed by it. But a, a paint job that I did six years ago, a painted room. Um, that I put it out there, and you'd be surprised how much respond on Facebook and media of getting back. And that's how I knew that there's something special about me, you know. And to just get it more involved, don't give up, and keep pushing. Mm-hmm. So what's it like working hard every single day, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you're you're doing all that work. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, you've gone through some major family stuff. What's it like now at home? Like where where you come home every day, you you just told me like right now your wife dropped you off here to do this podcast, and then you're off on your way. You know, I mean, she's off to take the kids to soccer practice, all these different things. She's a hardworking mom, and I work hard so she can be able to take care of my children. And being a home mom is not easy. I learned that through time because it was my I never had my mother. You know, she had to go work and hustle at the hotels, clean twenty two, twenty four rooms, and I saw all that. I started working with her. She's the one that put me to say, hey, you want to go to school and you want you want to see how work is? And she put me to work at, her, at the hotel. And from, I was there washing towels and linen. And then uh, I did, uh, and it's funny that I remember that. They put me, they liked me, so they put me, I took an internship through school. 
the internship put me as a and that's maintenance and uh, it was like a maintenance person for hotels and I did it for a couple of hotels and it, and it, it you know I was young at that time but I started learning some minor steps when I went to Home Depot that's when I learned everything that something told me that I had something special right when I was there and you know I wasn't getting paid well but it's a good company and I learned a lot of you know some people like to work and not talk and you got to talk you got to talk and communicate with people fill their carts and what they need what are they working on and all that stuff will come out for me it made me a better person and uh, I think people still go to this day to that Home Depot and, and they ask for me because well, because I was there I was just helping customers all the time and I guess uh, when times are tough you just got to keep pushing you can't give up keep pushing and work hard and that's kind of, that's how my parents taught me what uh when you're when when you've gone through your through your life's tragedies when you had your sister thing how does that how does that affect um how you interact with your family mm, good question well i have a big family they're all hard-working people so uh, the best thing is uh, to work hard and be a good person. Uh, you know, just to just to work hard. My, 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 my whole family, they're hardworking people. My grandma had a store. My grandma had a store in, in Mexico, and she would sell candy. And and I think I take that, take that to you, you know motivate myself day through day. Uh, now, through with the question that you were asking me. Uh, it's hard. We just got to continue working. Everybody, my father still works. He's already at a certain age, but he, you know, he he he's he taught us all the way. You know, family, they're all hard workers. I don't see nobody in my family that's not a hard worker. So, how would you define success then? Cuz obviously, you come from a family of people who definitely do a lot of work. Yes. Work is never a bad thing, no uh, matter what you do. The, the fact that you're willing to get up and do something, the fact that you're willing to get up and go to work, the, the fact that you're willing to hustle, to grind, to do all those things, those are all great things. Yes. But how would you define uh, your ideal success? What is a day, it, what is, when you're done at the end, when you have your, when you've reached your pinnacle point, what does that look like to you? Does it look like a fancy car? Does it look like a big house? Does it look like a dollar amount per year? Does it look like you on the beach? What does it look like to you? What is the end? Uh, I'm not going to sit down. I, I know there's a time where there's a retirement. I see a lot of people get happy by it. But I think it's going to be like more mellow, but just stay busy. Stay busy. Find something to do. Even though I will retire. You know, have my home. My beautiful kids. You know, my wife. But still maintain busy i think so what does that look like though what does that home look like let's say you're 65 you know how many homes (laughs) how many how many how many many or or just in general like what does it look like i'm trying to get you to like literally visualize and detail out exactly what it's supposed to look like at the end you've worked on so many houses Mm. you've done so much work i want to know what your house at the end when you're ready to be done if you're if you couldn't physically work anymore if you couldn't get up and go to work anymore Mm. what does your house look like what does your life it's a nice house okay describe it to me in full detail describe it to me just close your eyes picture yourself there and describe it to me what does it look like a big land for sure because my hispanic family they like big land so big land five bedroom home you know a lot of the work is going to be done the, the way i want it it's going to be a lot of unique things that that i that i thought through you know why don't you do this and this job but keep it for me so when i built or stuff inside my home my way mm-hmm. Cause it's gotta be your pride. I get that. Mm. It's it's your work. And some animals, some animals in my yard. Uh, kind of animals you I see start, out there. I, I, I would like a horse. All right. I, I rode horses, so I, I would like a nice horse. I'm I'm down with that. I'm yeah. I'm thinking Bonita now. You got to be in Bonita or somewhere around there because you got to have horses unless you're gonna be somewhere way but, out. Well, Julia, God put me, but yeah, Bonita's a good. Oh, I want to know where you want to be. I want you to tell me where you're gonna be. I like, this is this. I like Hamul. Okay, so we're thinking Hamul. Hamul. Five bedroom place in Hamul with some yeah. animals. Yeah. All right, let's keep going with that. What kind of what kind of car are you driving out there? 
You're uh, relaxed. You're done. You're you're chilling. You got people working for you. I don't at this know point. what year is gonna be, but it will be a, that that year. Tr- a, 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 so we're saying new. A nice Toyota truck. All right, we're truck. gonna go Toyota. All right, all right. Now we're starting to get somewhere. We're starting to get somewhere. Yeah. Right. All right. So you have a nice house out in Hamul with some land, a nice truck. Yes. Right. This mm-hmm. is the end game. A right? horse. A horse. Mm-hmm. What color is the horse? Two lambs. Two lambs and. Some sheep. Oh snap! We're going Noah's Ark here. All right, no. cool. <laughs> <laughs> like some, oh, no, this is, no, obvi- no this is obviously like a ranch, you know, <laughs> farmhouse yeah, yeah. type we of got, thing. We got a couple different things. Yeah, got you your own. Said, you said open my imagination. That's what Absolutely. I want you to do. This is what I want you to do. I want you to have yeah. a. I, I want you to start yeah. focusing on the end here, yeah. so we can work it backwards. All right. So you got some land. You got a new truck. You got a mm. five bedroom home. Yeah. You got I some wanna, animals. I want a, a party hall in the backyard. Oh so what? My family like a big party hall. Oh, a the little backyard now? Yeah, okay. like a big trellis or a giant trellis, like the humongous trellis, like a shade trellis or something. And so throw parties, a big barbecue grill. Because every, right. every Saturday. Big entertainment space? Ramirez, the, Ramirez, the Ramirez, when they get together, it's, it's no joke. <laughs> it's no joke. It's no joke. It's got to Tra- be a big-ass grill. Traditionally, yes. All right, so... Uh, we got a new car, right? What do you what do you ki- what do you expect from your your kids as they get older? What what do you want them to do? To go to school, work hard. So, are we talking college? Are we talking college. like vocational? College. Are we talking you know? You want them to learn a trade? You want them to be like I don't know, doctors, attorneys? You want them to be real estate agents? What do you have in mind? I mean, you know your kids. MMA and fighters. Strength. I think the little ones. Oh <laughs> 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 boy, let me nice. tell you. But my son's into soccer, Joshua. I love his son. Uh, but uh, he he's into soccer. I, I see him going to major. He he's terrific with his left foot. And my daughter did fashion when she was little. My, my wife got her into a lot of fashion. But I would like her to to have a good career. You know, she she she's a lot to to with the family is. I see it already in her. She's really active. She's doing. My wife just told me that she was doing. Uh, track and you know she's into a lot of stuff at school she does great all my kids do great in school even the smaller one but the smaller is baby still but but the, joshua and jasmine they're doing joshua's good with math and today he actually went to see a job with me and you'd be surprised he plays with math really good and i, I don't know but he loves sports a lot he doesn't he he loves soccer a lot and that grew through family too, so he sees it. Uh-huh. All right, so now let's think about this. So this is the end game, right? Mm-hmm. So we got we got the land, we got the animals, we got the five bedroom bath car, we got the Toyota, we got the kids going to college. Uh, we're giving them careers, right? How are we gonna pay for all this? Work hard. We'll work hard. <laughs> let's stick. <laughs> let, let's stick. Let's stick a theoretical uh, a, a, a number on this. What do you think? What do you think a five bedroom home in Homul is gonna cost? At that time, oh man! Oh, this is, well, well, let's, let's get to it closer than that time. Yeah. I think. Uh, what do you think? Seven. I think, I think we can look for something about seven hundred thousand. Get it lower and convince. Yeah, but I think it's gonna be around six or seven, and, and luckily. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Cool. So let's. Whoop! There you seriously? Oh, bones nose. <laughs> Business, all right. so disturb us on. I don't yeah, I don't know. Mine, right. Mine's good. No, no worries. All right, so we're looking about seven hundred thousand dollar home. What do you think a new truck's gonna run you? Mm. The truck you want? I got a price. The in one mind. I want is like sixty grand. Oh, okay, sixty grand. I'm not gonna say no names, but I, because I'll just let it just come. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. Um, do you currently rent or do you currently own? I'm renting. Okay, I'm renting. Currently renting. All right, now. Uh, mind if I get a little personal? Yeah, a little bit, a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit. I won't give no more. No, no, no more, no more details. Any right, right? Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so you're currently renting. Mm. How soon are you gonna buy? How soon are you gonna make your way towards that? My goal is uh, less than two years. Less than two years. Okay, so less than two years. Okay, so, um. Do you have anything put away so far? Something. Something, a little something? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you have a plan to get to start putting things away? My business. 
Um, I'm going to share something with you. It's not totally a plan. Have you set up a system yet to put things away? Are you taking anything off the top of every check you get? I'm not answering. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's usually a no. Look, yeah. let's, let's talk about a little bit why. All right. So um, I, I'll give you something that I do. So anytime I get a check, for example, I have a separate bank account and I have it. Uh, I think I have it over at Navy Fed mm-hmm. and it's only a savings account. Mm-hmm. There is no debit card attached to it. I the only way I can get any money out of that is I physically have to go into the bank, show ID, show the little account number and get the money out. Correct. But what I do is every time I get a check, 25 percent of that check automatically goes into that account. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You're self-employed, which means you got you got self-employment tax. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I know every year at the end of the year, you're in one of those situations where you pretty much are going to make a tax payment. Mm -hmm. Okay. so do you have money put away for that? Are you putting money away for that? And you don't have to answer. And just in general, most of most for the most part, we Mm -hmm. struggle. We as not just you, we as self-employed people, Mm -hmm. we as self-employed people struggle with that. Mm -hmm. So. I'm going to tell you, for you, I want you to start setting yourself up so that, and this is hard, mm-hmm. okay? I want you to start setting yourself up so that 25% of every check you get has to go into another account so that it pays taxes and so that you start putting something away for yourself. Mm-hmm. So we can make this thing a reality, dude, so that the land and the you know the five-bedroom home and the horse and the new truck is something that can actually happen for yeah. you. Yes, sir. And trust me, you do one thing really, really well that a lot of people don't, Mm -hmm. and that's work. Work. Mm -hmm. But then you fall into a trap that a lot of people fall into. Yeah. And that's a that's a money management trap. Mm -hmm. Because guess what? We all have a life to live. Mm -hmm. We all are going to struggle with our finances. Correct. We all have bills to pay. Mm -hmm. We all have kids to feed. Correct. But you have to make sure you start maintaining yourself. Mm -hmm. So, can I get you to commit? To start putting away 25% of your check into something? Yes. You have to do it for yourself, okay? Okay. Now, this is going to be this is gonna be your tax account. This is also going to be a little bit of your savings account. Mm-hmm. But that means that you're going to have to work an extra 25% harder. Yes. Think you can handle that? Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm making it happen already. Just already? Keep doing it. Yeah. Man. How do you get paid? You mostly get paid like cash and check, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Correct. So you need to make a habit. Right now you have a bank account somewhere. You know, tell me where because this is a podcast. We don't need to be talking about where you have your money. But I want you to open another account. And I want you to make that account. I want you to call that tax and savings. Mm. All right. Normally I would tell somebody to have two separate accounts. One for tax and one for savings. Correct. Okay. But Mm. in your case, at least let's get into the habit of taking 25% of every paycheck. Mm. Okay. So literally all I have to do is whatever the number is, I multiply it by 0.25. That's the number that goes into this account. Mm -hmm. Can we get that? Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. So I'm going to do a follow up with you. Okay. Cause we're going to, we're going to, you're going to be one of my, one of my personal projects here. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Cause I think you're one of those people. One of our heroes. One of our heroes. Next time I come, it's going to be different. (laughs) Right. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to make it a point to, you're going to be one of my hero stories. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you're, cause you're, you work your ass off. Thank you. And I can tell just by, you know, the, the little bit of time that I spent with you that you do spend a lot of time trying to make something of your business. And I feel that it would be a disservice that if you worked all that hard, all that, that hard on your business, Mm -hmm. if you didn't have a plan to show something for it at the end. Yep, right, because that's the problem that we that many, 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 many people who start a small business at the beginning, they spend all their time trying to grow this business. They spend all this time trying to go out there and acquire customers. They spend all this time making all this money, but they don't know how to handle it so that they have something left over for themselves. Correct. Because I don't know about you, but I think you're important. I Thank think you. your kids are important. Thank you I so think much. your wife is important, yes. especially for what's going on in your family. Mm-hmm. And if something were to happen to you or your wife or any of your kids, God forbid, something like that were to happen, you know, you have to have a plan in place to be able to continue to take care of that. Yes. So we're, this is the basic step number one. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Normally, I would start off with people saving at a 10% rate and we'll talk about the tax rate, whatever. But this is going to be a flat, simple thing for you. Mm-hmm. And it's on a podcast. Yeah. So you said you're going to do it. Yeah. That's right. We're going to follow up with you. Yeah. And we're going to follow up with you. I follow up with you, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make yeah. that happen, okay? Yes, you got it. All right. We're, we're close on time? Oh, yeah. We're All right. So I want you to uh, tell, the, tell the people on the camera, how do they get a hold of you? They want to they get some work done with you. This camera right here. This camera My right here. My name is Jose Ramirez. 
from Ramirez Handyman Services, they call me the Pro Painter Handyman. But if you need to call me to do any repairs, any maintenance in your home, uh, any install, something different, you call me at 619-664-7814. I'll be there to help you out. You Perfect. Can, you can also send me an email at Ramirez Handyman Services at AOL.com. Cool. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I need your help. We're going to get this guy off and rolling. And I want to I want you guys out there, real estate agents who have already used his services, who already rant and rave about the stuff that he does, his work, anybody who picks him up on a new job, I want you to help me hold him accountable. When he does good work and when he earns his pay and when he does the quality work that he's going to do for you, I want you to remind him that 25% of this income that he's earning has to be put away for his kids, has to be put away for his wife, has to be put away for his future because he's got a future ahead of him. Amen. Yep. All right. Fair game? Fair game. Awesome job. All right, ladies and gentlemen, remember, 365 pairs of shoes by the end of the year. Help us out. Make sure you guys uh, reach out to James at csfirst.com or give him a call, 619-884-0045, to get him, uh, to get him go out there on his Harley and pick up them shoes because we want to get as many shoes as possible by the end of the year. Let's hit that goal as soon as possible. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for the friend requests on Facebook, the follows on Instagram, and even a few of you who are following on Twitter. I do jump on there every once in a while. So really, really, really appreciate it. Make sure you tag, uh, you hop on the Facebook Live so I can give you a shout-out on the show. Um, and that's about it for our, for our stuff, right? That's it. This is a really good one, actually. Um, really looking forward to hearing more from you. We are going to follow up. Uh, this one was a little bit different from a lot of the ones that we've done in the past. I knew it. Uh, in a great way. And uh, really looking forward to talking with you more and, you know, helping you really develop your business into a business. Into a business. Yep. Thank All right. So and, and if not, if not, if you're going to stay self-employed, that's 100 percent OK. But we're going to make sure that you're you're taking care of you and yours. Keep pushing. Yep. Keep, pushing. Hey, keep pushing. You know, even if you're self-employed, you still got to mind your business. Yeah. That's and right. We'll, we'll talk more about that offline. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Facebook. We love you all. If you guys want to be on the show, Hernan at csfirst.com or 619-884-4915. Thanks, guys. For all Peace. your insurance needs, James at csfirst.com, 619-884-0045. Peace. Peace. Bye-bye. And I'm out. Thanks, Facebook. We love you. Wow. Peace. Rocking on, Facebook. A lot of people watching, my family, a lot of Ramirez came around. <laughs> <laughs>